That final was, I think, maybe the most intense hurling match I've ever witnessed. Kenny players would say that everything they'd agreed upon before the game went out the window because they were just like wolves. They went after Cork players in, in, in their packs. Ex Mina Fui Ritchie, Shilam Gurskoral She Kuli Nawan, Aknirev She Shin Tavak to Kinarira, and Rodis Tavak Dinan, Obera Rinishe, Agus, and Bru Hershe, Ern Hulaha. Bounces away from O'Sullivan, bounces around to Fogarty, he's got a goal! Aiden Fogarty! We knew how good Cork were, we knew they were going to stay going until the last minute, and which they did, they came back, they got a goal. Still he slips them. McCarthy looking to set up a goal for Cork. Ben O'Connor, he's got it! It's not over yet! They brought it back to a couple of points, but, you know, thankfully, I can remember John Tennyson coming out with that last ball and the final whistle going. It was just euphoria, really. Nor a head on Rathor and Adog Dernock just via on Mohan Dochreta, um, Vishe Krakalti, Ishlita. The word transition had been banded around that year. It was quickly dismissed and it's like, they're, they're not in transition, they're here and, and they're probably here to stay. If Cork won the three in a row and all of what they were communicating about taking the game to another level uh, came, to, came through, Brian Cody could have been under pressure. So, for a young player like Richie Power to be immersed in that environment and the intensity of that day and to come out the far side must, must have been a very powerful thing to experience. <laughs>